What's going on guys, this is John Zakari, and today I want to talk about the future of Pokemon. I was in elementary school when Pokemon first swept the United States long ago, and I was instantly hooked. First, it was the Game Boy game, Pokemon Blue, all day for me. Batteries never went so fast in my house as they did at that time. Then I'm waking up early before school to catch the anime, and of course, before long, I'm tearing open card packs, always in hope of pulling that foil Charizard. Pokemon consumed my life. Gotta catch them all wasn't just a catchphrase, it was a lifestyle. And this wasn't just a solo activity. Pokemon was one of the first games that really started to bring kids together in my community. Since every kid was so into it, everyone suddenly had something in common. Whether you wanted to just sit in awe of each other's collections, trade cards, or even actual Pokemon in-game if someone managed to have that pesky link cable, it was truly awesome. Since then, Pokemon has managed to remain a staple of the game's industry, with characters like Pikachu being some of the most recognizable gaming icons. But 2016 in particular is shaping up to be one of the most interesting years for the franchise. We already got Pokken Tournament, a 3D fighting game by Bandai Namco, that has brought us as close to the epic Pokemon battles in the anime as ever before. We've even gotten teases for the upcoming Pokemon Go, which will bring the experience to smartphones. I've always shied away from cell phone games, as I feel they just can't compare to something like a 3DS game. But this one actually has me pretty interested. The idea of merging the real world with Pokemon was something all of us dreamed of as kids. Come on, tell me you didn't wish one day you could look out your window and see your yard full of Pokemon. And while it seems like a lot of elements in this may need some work, it's a fun step in that direction. God, and don't forget about Detective Pikachu. I mean, you want to talk about a game that comes out of left field. Whoever thought we were going to be playing a Pokemon game that gave Pikachu such a deep, manly voice. If you dump a bunch of lemons, you're going to take those lemons and stuff them down somebody's throat. And of course, for the purist, we've got Pokemon Sun and Moon coming out this holiday. Truly, a fantastic time for Pokemon fans. But with this series seeing a lot of experimentation in new avenues, where do we go from here? Well, I know one path. While the Pokemon series has always been adored by fans, we've never gotten a true home console experience. Now of course, yes, there have been Pokemon games on home consoles. Yeah, there's games like Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium, which even allowed you to battle your Pokemon from the handhelds on the big screen, but we've never gotten the full open-world Pokemon RPG experience designed to be played at home on a TV. Now, there have been tons of reasons floating around about why this hasn't happened yet. You know, Pokemon already is a big system seller for the handhelds, the games are better suited for handhelds, the developers at Game Freak have even cited the bringing people together with their handhelds aspect, like how I mentioned it happened in my community when I was younger. But here's the thing, like it or not, the internet is the way people come together today. And as Nintendo is seeing themselves, the majority of on-the-go gaming is happening on smartphones. Trust me people, I love my 3DS as much as anyone, but mobile games are tearing into handheld profits. Not to mention, the Wii U didn't exactly blow consumers away, and Nintendo has a lot of ground to make up with the NX. We've already seen signs, like with the delay of the next Zelda game, that they know they need this new console to have a stellar games lineup. I mean, just imagine if you could, the inevitable reveal event for the NX, Nintendo running down all the major players, Mario, Zelda, some surprises, etc. And then they pull the classic, oh, and just one more thing, and bam, we cut to a Pokemon trainer exploring a new, fully realized 3D environment in a game running in full HD, 1080p, 60 frames per second. We see Pokemon roaming the fields, dense cities, epic gym leader confrontations. I mean, I just don't see how anyone wouldn't be blown away by that. Now, I know I'm not the only one jonesing for this, but I also know there are plenty who don't want it. I know there's a lot of people who want to see the series remain on handhelds, and I understand the reasoning. But I think this series is big enough to thrive on both handhelds and home console. I honestly don't think the people who are currently buying all the Pokemon handheld games 
would suddenly stop if there was a home console version. And it would be crazy for Nintendo and Game Freak to not have the home console and handheld titles interact with each other. Hell, I think they could even get away with a dual release on home consoles as well. I mean, that's one of the major aspects of the series, right? Having multiple versions of each game? I could already see my friends and I discussing who's going to get which game to ensure we can trade to get all the Pokemon, just like we were 10 again. All in all, I think if Nintendo is at all willing to try this, now is the time. We've got a new system coming out that is on the heels of one that's sold rather poorly and it's going to need to have a strong games lineup if it's going to compete in the current market. I think the home console Pokemon experience is something that many have waited a long, long time for. It would pull in the current fans, new fans, and even past fans. And with that, this video's a wrap. Let me know what you think of the potential of a home console Pokemon game in the comments. Is it time to make the jump, or should Nintendo just stick with what works? If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel now, and you can say you were a subscriber before it was cool. As always, I'm John Zakari, and thanks for watching.